Have you ever received a DXF file, brought it into Trimble Access to use in your map screen only to find out that either the line work doesn't look right or you're missing data and you spend some time trying to figure out what the heck is going on? Well, today we're going to show you how you can solve that issue using a tool in Trimble Business Center. Hey doing everybody, my name is Jay Haskamp and this is another Frontier Precision Tech Talk video and in this video we're going to take a look at the convert to line string macro or command in Trimble Business Center. So what we have here today is a TBC project opened up that has a DXF with a basically like a lighting, proposed lighting plan in it. And what we typically would do is we'd either get a DWG and bring it into Trimble Business Center and export out a DXF for a background map, or maybe we would get the DXF file um, directly from CAD or the designer or whatever, and we bring that into Trimble Access. So this came as a DWG. Um, I have it into Trimble Business Center. The first thing I'm gonna do is kind of just do what we all would do is just export out a DXF file so we can see what that takes, what that looks like in, in Trimble Access. So I'm gonna grab all my data here and I'm gonna go to export. I'm going to choose CAD, DXF, and then I'm going to locate my, um, I'm just going to put this right in my emulator here. So I'm going to locate my emulator folder. Control, control and projects. Okay, it's called Lighting DXF. So we're going to dump that right in there and we're going to hit export. All right, so now if we switch over to Trimble Access and we have our project open and we go to our layers and you can see here's my lighting DXF and I'm going to zoom in to a couple different areas here, specifically down here. First, you can see um, on the screen, it's not a very good color for a DXF file, which we can also change in TBC, but you can see I've got some line segments here some gaps and things are missing and not connected. Um, this maybe isn't a, a great example, but a lot of times where you're going to see um, gaps and issues in DXF files are gonna be around curves and things like that. You can see there's also some data missing here. There's some, um, line, I'm assuming a line, se a line segment right here that's probably going up this way. And it just doesn't quite look right. So how can we fix that? Um, a common one would be like curb and gutter. Uh, where you have an intersection and you have the little curb radiuses in the intersection. Those are very common um, things that, that just don't display in DXF files. Well, we have a tool that we have at our disposal in Trimble Business Center that um, we can use to solve that issue. So let's go back to Trimble Business Center and take a look. I haven't done anything different in this project yet, but what I want to what I want to show you is a command called convert to line strings. Okay, so that can be found in two different places and it depends on different licenses and subscriptions and things like that. The first thing um, I would do is look to see if you have a macros tab. Okay, so the macros tab um, has some additional kind of customized commands that were developed by different users for Trimble Business Center. And under macros, you will have a convert to line string command. Now, to get access to this just in, in TBC, you need to have at least the advanced um, TBC license. Another place to find it is if you're a subscriber to the Rockpile um, TML or the, or the Rockpile tools, it's going to be under data prep. You can see these are my Rockpile tabs and it's going to be right here under convert to line string. Both of these tools, whether it's in the Rockpile tabs or in macros, are going to do the same thing, okay? So Rockpile, uh, if you're not familiar, is a company that does a great job of creating a bunch of additional um, tools within Trimble Business Center for modeling, data prep, takeoff. If you get into a lot of um, work where you're doing a lot, of, a lot of CAD work and a lot of surface modeling work and things like that, um, they have some really amazing tools in here that make life a lot easier. But fortunately for us, we can also access the Convert to Line String tab um, command right in the Macros tab if we have um, access to that as well. So let's take a look at um, this tool. So first thing I'm gonna do when I prep a DXF file to go to Trimble Access is I'll run this command and I'll zoom out and I'll just select everything, okay? So you can see there's 3,300 different objects here. 
and I have some options here. I can delete the existing objects, meaning it'll basically take you know, all this data, delete it and recreate it as a line string. Um, that could be things such as you know, polylines, break lines, contours, alignments, you name it, we can convert everything into a, a line string, which is gonna work a lot better for us in terms of a DXF um, file. We can also tr convert um, alignments and text leaders to line strings. And then we have the big, the big part of this right here is the remove UCS, okay? So to explain what this means, I've actually pulled up the Rockpile um, user community page where it does a good job of explaining what a UCS is and why we would want to remove it. And really, to be honest with you, the issue we have with these curb radiuses and things not showing up is typically um, because of this UCS. So the UCS, I'm just gonna read it here, is a user-defined coordinate system used by AutoCAD and MicroStation to accommodate for the fact that they have no easy way to create curvilinear geometry in 3D within their CAD solutions. In TBC, a line string can include arcs and vertical curves. It can also include any number of VPIs that define the 3D path of the line. In CAD systems, they can represent the curvilinear line in 2D only so to create a 3D curvilinear segment, they apply a UCS or a user-defined coordinate system to the segment, which is typically gonna be arcs, so that it's drawn on a 3D plane. In addition, when they tilt the arc using a plane, they often change the radius ever so slightly so that it continues to fit the segments at either end of the arc. So when we adjust out the UCS to return the lines to TBC line strings without the UCS, we provide the ability to recompute the radius take out the arc um, adjustments applied by the CAD system. So basically what that means is, is your CAD systems don't necessarily have a good way to represent arcs um, in, a, in a 3D space. So there's some UCS or user-defined coordinate system that's applied to the arcs to tilt it ever so slightly to make everything work, where convert to line string, will convert everything to a line string in Trimble Business Center, which has a full support of a, of a arc with a profile, basically a 3D arc. So. This is the important um, tool here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And it runs through the process. You can see that it all looks exactly the same. It didn't really change anything. It just basically converts everything to line string. So if I select one of these guys, you can see everything that shows up on the screen is a line string, okay? Line string, line string. This says cat line because it's a, it's a block, but everything else is a line string, okay? Now we could stop at there and export out um, the way it is. One other thing I like to do is I have access to the data prep tools. So that's another um, tool that I like to run on a lot of these uh, background map type files. And I'll go to project cleanup. And then this has a bunch of stuff to basically just clean up your projects. If those of you who are Autodesk people think of the purge command where you kind of purge your drawing. This does something similar where we can also remove like zero length fragment, fragments of lines um, we can join lines together, fix overlaps and things like that. So I'll typically just go in here and run with the defaults and I will hit apply and it'll start running through my project. And you can see it kind of gives you the status on the right hand side. So we had 22 duplicate lines that were removed. We had lines with small gaps, overlaps, misalignments. It joined 485 of those. And then there was just four extra layers in that DXF file that we didn't even need. So cleaned it up, just made it a little bit more compact, a little cleaner, and we hit okay. And now what we're gonna do is export our DXF one more time. And I'm gonna go back to my emulator folder here as soon as I can find it. Okay, so we have lighting. I'm just gonna call this lighting underscore macro save and export okay so now I'm gonna switch back over to Trimble access you can see where we were missing segments and kind of had some weird stuff going on here um, now what we're gonna do is go to our layers and we're gonna turn on lighting macro and turn regular lighting off and if we zoom back in you will now see this is not ha uh, not missing any data. It has all the line segments and it looks a lot more like 
what we see on the screen here. So here's TBC, here's Axis. They look exactly the same. Now to show one more time, I'll go back to the old one. Except, zoom into here, a little bit tighter. And you can see, it'll maybe have some smoother curvy lines because of the UCS, but we're missing data. And these lines don't necessarily represent what the drawing looks like because if we switch to TBC, you can see it looks a lot different. Okay, so again, to recap, under the macros tab, or if you're a data preps, or a, excuse me, you're a rock pile uh, subscriber, it'll be under the data prep tab, convert to line string, remove the UCS, clean it up, export out your DXF, and you'll be a lot more successful in the field and you won't be missing data. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully uh, this helps some of you out and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.